Are you trying to figure out the best way to get the most delicious, most flavorful burger that is perfect every single time? Well, guess what? That is not the stuff dreams are made of. It actually can happen, and I am going to show you how. By the end of this video, you are gonna learn how to make the most perfect burger thanks to sous vide. And if you really do like easy and tasty recipes, then please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I do come out with new videos every week and that way you will be notified. Okay, today we are doing one of my absolute favorites, sous vide hamburgers. And if you don't know sous vide or don't know how to do it, please stay tuned, I will show you how. And I also have a great download for you that is going to make your sous vide cooking perfect every single time. So stay tuned to get that. Welcome to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. I am here to show you the easiest way to get the best results in your kitchen. And there's no better way or easier way to get perfect hamburgers than sous vide. Today, we're talking burgers, and we are going to make them extraordinarily flavorful with bacon, blue cheese. Oh, one of my favorites. It tastes almost like you're eating a really fancy steak at a super expensive restaurant. So let's get to it. First, I have here one pound of ground beef. Now the full recipe is available. Uh, I'll put a link below. It is at my food blog, thespicyapron.com. So here is our pound of ground beef. Now make sure you use no leaner than 15% fat because that's where all the flavor is coming from. Also, this is bacon that I have cut and sauteed. Important note, Please save the bacon grease in your saute pan. You will see this, I will show it to you later because that is what we are going to eventually sear the burgers in. Bacon grease, right? It doesn't get a lot better than that. All right, so this is about 12 ounces of bacon. Add it to your ground beef. Nobody ever said this was healthy. Uh, and also add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce that also gives it that steak-like flavor and a couple of ounces of crumbled blue cheese. Now, this goes a long way, so do not overdo the blue cheese because you still wanna be able to taste that wonderful bacon. I also often will salt my ground beef when I'm going to do a burger. However, that blue cheese is very salty and so is the bacon. So I would say lay out the salt and salt it later if you think it needs it. And add some sliced green onions. That is it, bacon blue cheeseburger. Uh, I am gonna add a little bit of pepper. We're gonna mix this up and form it into four patties. Now, I've got a secret about how to do patties for sous vide. Yes, my hands are clean in case you're wondering. Uh, so let's mix this up and then I'm gonna tell you all about it. Okay, so this mixture is all made. Now you wanna divide it into four equal parts. Obviously, that's gonna be a quarter pound burger each, so they're a little smaller than I usually make them. Uh, you are welcome to make yours as big as you want. You can do two half pound burgers out of this. That would be great. Okay, so let me show you about making a patty. First of all, you do not want to overwork the meat, please. Uh, you want to just squish it just enough to have it all come together. You've got that bacon in here that's fully cooked already. You've got your blue cheese and your green onions, but you need to just put just enough pressure to hold it together. Now, when your burger is fully formed, make sure you put a little indentation in the center and the reason you do that is because when we're going to sear it later you don't want it to poof up like a football okay so all four of my patties are formed with the indentation they are bursting with bacon and blue cheese oh i cannot wait so i am curious is this the first time you're attempting sous vide burgers or are you an old expert put that in the comments below expert or first timer. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my sous vide all set up and I'll show you how to do that. But if you want a little bit more detail, I did this video on just plain sous vide burgers and it shows you a lot about how to get the air out of the package and displacement method. So I'm gonna set it up now, but that video will give you a little bit more detail on that method. Okay, as we're getting this all set up, a couple of really important points. First of all, go ahead and put your formed patties in a Ziploc gallon size bag. You do not want to vacuum seal these because the burgers will definitely lose their shape that way. So make sure you do this just in a gallon size bag. Do not vacuum seal. And then when you have them in your bag, I want you to go ahead and stick them in the fridge for 30 minutes 
to firm them up a little bit before you take all the air out of the bag. Important step, again, if you want them to keep their shape. All right, now that these have been in the fridge for about 30 minutes to keep their shape, let's go ahead and get the air out of the bag. Again, like I said, I have more detail on how to do that if you watch that other video. But for now, all we're gonna do is sink them in there and squeeze the air out. And see, it's perfect. Okay. Let's heat up the water. I do 133 degrees for anywhere from about 30 minutes to an hour. I like it a little bit better, closer to an hour. That will cook your burgers to medium rare. Now you can obviously do more, just amp up the temperature a little bit, or you can do rare burgers, reduce it to about 129. Okay, so my sous vide circulator, which again, all it's doing is heating up this water bath so I can cook those burgers to the absolute perfect temperature, edge to edge. There is nothing like sous vide to get perfect hamburgers, perfect meats, perfect everything, frankly, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna put my little rack in here so I can put my burgers in. Uh, you can just do it in a pot if you want. All right, now you've got your burgers that were sealed with the displacement method, not vacuum sealed, and go ahead and submerge them. Make sure they are fully submerged in the water and put them to bed for about an hour or so. Well, these are almost done. It's been just shy of an hour and I'm ready to take them out, but don't forget, I am going to sear these bacon blue cheese burgers in bacon grease, of course. Now, what's amazing about sous vide is that, you know, if you wanna let it sit another 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it's okay. There's no rush to, oh my God, I have to get these off the heat right now, otherwise they're gonna be overdone. It's just amazing. Also, don't you love my sous vide container? I will put a link to it below. I just bought it off of Amazon a few weeks ago. Love it. Okay, so let's pull these burgers out. Now, it is important to note, they are fully cooked and you can eat them just like this, right out of the bag, and they will be delicious. Oh, you can smell oh, the green onion and the blue cheese. So these are perfectly cooked to medium rare, but to take it up a notch and to get it to look a little more traditional, obviously sous vide right out of the bath looks kind of funky, but we're gonna sear it up in the bacon grease and then they will look gorgeous. Okay, a couple of tips to searing your burgers to make them perfectly cooked but not overcooked. Number one, like I said, use the pan that you sauteed the bacon in, it will be perfect. Number two, you do not need to sear them long. You're really just adding a little bit of exterior flavor and some caramelization. So grab your burgers that are fully cooked and put them in a screaming hot pan. See, screaming. Okay, and do them for about one to two minutes per side. Right, and get them off the heat. You don't wanna overcook these perfect burgers. And see, you're going for just that color on the outside. It looks better. The bacon grease makes it taste better. But then we're gonna get them off the pan and throw them on a toasted bun. Okay, here they are. And guys, because it's got that bacon that's already cooked and the chives, and the blue cheese, you really don't need to add anything for flavor. However, I do, again, use a toasted bun, please. It's much better. I do like to add a little schmear of mayo. You can skip this if you don't like it, but it does add just that little extra mm to your burger. Okay, so mayo's on. I'm just gonna grab one of these suckers. Look at that burger. Can you guys see that? Look at that burger, that is delicious. Top goes on, but of course I have to cut into it to show you how perfectly cooked it is in the middle, moving everything out of the way. All right, now is the time to see how perfectly cooked this medium rare burger is. Bacon blue cheese, oh, would you look at that? And of course I have to taste it, it's just, it looks fantastic. Mm, that's gotta be one of the best burgers I have ever had in my life. So now that you know how to get the most perfectly cooked hamburger with sous vide, 
I have that free download I told you about. It is a chart and it's got all kinds of times and temperatures for beef and chicken and fish and everything. So there's a link to that below. Go ahead and click on it and that will get delivered directly to your inbox. And if this video helped you think of a different way to do your burgers, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, my name is Heather. Thank you for tuning into the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. Happy cooking and wow, happy burger eating.